Jens Haas's life story is deeply intertwined with German reunification. Having grown up in communist East Germany 25 years ago, his dream came true. While illegally watching newscasts from West Germany, he saw how fellow East Germans were seeking refuge in Bonn's embassy in Prague. He boarded a train, and before long, he was among the crowd outside the embassy fence. I heard voices calling, come over, come over. I remember being over the fence and that I was sitting in the mud, but it all happened so fast, I can't remember everything. He spent two weeks inside the embassy compound, along with 4,000 other refugees, hoping to be granted permission to leave East Germany. Hase was sitting in an embassy stairway when he suddenly saw West German Foreign Minister Hans-Dietrich Genscher standing before him. I reacted spontaneously and asked him if there were any new developments. He turned and said he was going to make an announcement and we should gather in the courtyard. In words that have become famous, Genscher confirmed that the refugees would be granted permission to go to the West. The rest of the statement was drowned out by cheers. When people ask me about it, I say it was one of the best moments of my life. It's hard to describe. Two hours later, he was on a train, headed across the border to West Germany. He eventually settled in the Bavarian town of Gunzberg, where he found work and fell in love. He never wanted to return and says Bavaria has become his new home. <sighs>